In this video, I want to show you how to answer the questions in this quiz, Phrase Beats Level 2. They're asking you to look at compound meters, and they're saying, calculate the number of beats in the phrase. Well, it's a bit tricky here, because um, normally a beat in a simple meter would be one of these bottom numbers. But in compound meters, where the numerator is multiple of three, like six, nine, twelve, this type of stuff. In compound meters, a beat is a group of things in the bottom. It's always a group of three of the bottom notes. So in this case, since they're eighth notes, three eighth notes will equal to one compound beat. What we need to do then is figure out how many groups of three eighth notes there are. So this is one, two, three, four sixteenth notes which equals two eighth notes, plus one more eighth note. So this whole first chunk is is uh, three eighth notes long, or one compound beat, three eighth notes. This, one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, sixteenth notes here equals three eighth notes, or one more compound beat. So this first chunk here is one beat, here's two beats, now let's look at the next measure, which is incomplete, right, because we don't have another bar line. Let's see, one, two, and two sixteenths makes one more eighth note. All this combines together to create three eighth notes, or one compound beat. So, so far, how much do we have? One compound beat, one group of three eighth notes, two compound beats, and then three. But what is this? Well, this is a dotted eighth note, or three sixteenth notes. Now, to get a full compound beat, we need three eighth notes, or six sixteenth notes. So the question is, how much of a beat is this? Well, a dotted eighth note is three sixteenth notes out of the total six sixteenth notes that would make up a compound beat. One more time. Compound beat here is three eighth notes. But we have to actually think of this thing in terms of sixteenth notes. Okay, so then what is a compound beat of eighth notes here? Three eighth notes or six sixteenth notes. This dotted eighth note equals three sixteenth notes. So three sixteenth notes is half of six sixteenth notes, meaning it's a half of a compound beat. So the whole thing, one compound beat, two compound beats, three compound beats, and a half of a compound beat. So I just type in 3.5, I think that works anyways, 3.5 or 3 and 1 over 2. Oh, look at that, it doesn't. Okay, well, you see that my answer is correct here, but it wants it as a fraction. So um, for the next one, I'll go the whole number and then the fraction by the number divided by the next one. <laughs> so let's see that um, here. Well, it's got a full measure. So I know it's got to be one, two groups of three eighth notes in the first one. I really only have to figure out the second measure. So one, two beats. This is one. 2 sixteenths is 8, 2 sixteenths is 8, so 1, 2, 3 eighth notes. Okay, now I have 1, 2, 3 chunks, or 3 compound groups, 3 groups of 3 eighth notes, 3 compound beats, and whatever is left over here. Well, that's 1 eighth note, sorry, that's 1 sixteenth note, and an eighth note over here equals 2 sixteenth notes. 2 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth is 3 sixteenths. And what was that again? The 3 eighth notes is a compound beat. Let's convert it again to sixteenth notes. Um, 3 eighth notes equals 6 sixteenths. And again, this is 1, 2, 3 sixteenths. So I have 3 out of the 6 possible sixteenth notes. 3 out of 6 is 1 half. 
So I go one, two, three and a half beats. Here I'm gonna write it as my fraction because I realize it doesn't take the other ones. Three and one divided by two. Let's see if that works. Submit. Yay, it worked. Okay, same thing here. Uh, you know what, actually this, this first beat, this first measure, I'm gonna basically assume it has to be complete. I never see it not being. And uh, six eighths, so I'm gonna have two groups of three, or two compound beats, two groups of three eighth notes. That's one, and then two eighth notes plus one, that's two. Here's the third one, and it's the same thing here. Two sixteenth notes, one sixteenth, that's three, three sixteenths, and it takes six sixteenths to make our three eighth notes, which is one compound beat. So one, two, three and a half again. Hopefully it gives me something else after this. Submit. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, now we have a quarter note, which is equal to two eighth notes. And I have two eighth notes here, but I need three to make a full compound beat. So I have two out of the three that I need. So one, two, three full beats. And then, of course, this over here is two eighth notes. But since it's the full thing is three, I have two out of three. So three and two thirds. One, two, three. Here I see again two sixteenths, one sixteenth. So three and a half. So in here, one, two, three. Now I have one sixteenth. Um, after these three beats. Well, I have six sixteenths that make a whole compound beat. Three eighths equals six sixteenths. So I have one out of six. So three beats plus one out of six.